He wants to let you know that he's been sending you dreams. Yeah, I had a dream about him a couple days ago again. Yeah. That was him. That was really him. I can't yeah. just dial him up on the phone. I have who comes through. And right now your father's here. And this man is a hot shit when I'm connecting because he goes to me now. I can't believe I'm dead. I can't believe I'm dead. I can't believe I'm dead and I'm talking. And I'm like, what? And first of all, when I'm connecting with this man, he shows me that he had problems in multiple parts of his body here in this world. And he says to me, Matt, he goes, you don't understand. When I was here in this world, he goes, I was like a cockroach. Nothing could kill me, he tells me. <laughs> he tells me he was like, get sick and bounce back and get sick and bounce back. Yeah. And wait a minute, before he died, did you guys think he died like beforehand or thought he was dying at one point? but he lived like a little bit longer because I see him like, calling everyone yeah. and be like, quick, like, like my dad's going to die. Oh my God. He's going to be like, it's going to be today. And then your father's like, yeah. I'm fine. Yeah. He said he was fine all the time. And we were like, nope, uh, you, you got a pretty bad diagnosis. Mm -hmm. mm. He shows me when I'm connected with your father. I said to him, well, did you not believe in what the doctors were telling you? And your father goes to me. I didn't believe doctors. I believes in me. That's what he tells me. He says, I believed in me. He goes, and your father, like, I don't know if this is just his personality. Like, he feels like he has to prove things to me. But he's like, Matt, you should have saw me when I was younger. He says, when I was younger, I worked and I worked and I worked and I worked. He says, and nothing could stop me. He says, I didn't sleep. I just went, 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 he tells me. He yeah. says, and you got to let them know that when I was here, I didn't care what anyone said to me. He said, I was living as long as my body was ticking. That's what he tells me. Yeah. But first of all, what he's so thankful for is having you all there with him before he died. He wants to thank you all for taking turns, staying with him and watching over him and being there with him because he's bringing that up. Hmm. And I have to tell you that he wants to let you know as his daughter's this. He says, Matt, there was nothing that was left that was unsaid. He said, I knew that I was going to pass. He says, not at that very moment. He says, but I didn't want to dwell on it. He goes, so I didn't feel like we had to have a long goodbye. I didn't feel like I had to hold everyone's hands and tell them I love them. He says, because you all knew how I felt about you. That's what he's telling me. He says, and on the other side, Matt, he goes, I got to tell you, I can't believe I was so afraid to pass. He says, because in spirit, he goes, life is much better now, he tells me. Because your father <laughs> loves the outdoors scared. when I'm connecting with him. And when I'm speaking to him, he shows me like visions of him being out on this lake when I'm connecting with him in the afterlife and like fishing when I'm speaking to him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He says to me, Matt, that's how I lived life here in this world. It's how I live life in the afterlife, he tells me. He goes, I always yeah. wanted to do this. He says, and now yeah. he says it's that same way. Well, he also really? was telling me that one of the things that he wants to let you know is that he hasn't left you. He wants to let you know that he's been sending you dreams. So have you gotten dreams since his passing? Yeah, I had a dream about him a couple of days ago again. Yeah. That was him. That was yeah. really him. But he tells me he's pissed off at all he is. He says, yeah. because he tells me that you treated him like a little kid before he died. He said to me, Matt, he goes, you don't understand. He goes, my privileges got taken away. Right. And I'm like, what do you mean True. privileges? Well, he goes, I had true. to ask somebody if I wanted a, an ice cream sandwich. He goes, I had to wait for them to give me dinner. He goes, I couldn't leave the house. They used to lock the door and say, you're not going anywhere. I couldn't drive the car, he's telling me. Yes, oh my God. <laughs> okay, that's true. But it was dilly bars, not ice cream sandwiches. Listen, <laughs> dilly bars, ice cream sandwiches, same bullshit in my world. Listen, your father, I'm telling you what your father's calling it. Oh, gosh. My God. So no, that one of the things is that he tells me is this. He goes, Matt, they treated me like I was a little kid. He goes, yeah. I couldn't. And your father's like, going, I'm not. He thinks this is so funny. Because he I, like I heard him kid. saying to all of you, like, don't worry about me. Like, don't yeah. worry about me. Like, I I'm know. not senile. Stop worrying about me. Yeah. <laughs> and he says to me, Matt, you don't understand what they did to me yeah. and your father goes to me he goes you don't even understand he goes my family was so crazy they were so irate Matt he says that they used to go and like take turns like watching me he says he goes I had a babysitter <laughs> so he says to me, now Matt he goes it's the opposite he says now that I'm in heaven he says I get to watch over them he tells me oh, and he's bringing that through and your father yeah. just said to me he goes listen you wanted to, he says, you want to go and cause me issues? He goes, you better tell my daughter that she got to clean her house. He says, because she hasn't been cleaning up after her house. Was he talking to me? Yes. Yes, he's talking Which to you. One of us be talking to me. No, he's talking to in the green. He's talking to you. Yeah, we were just yeah. talking. We were just talking about that. Wait, what? What do you yeah, mean? We were just, we were we were just, just talking, talking about, about it. It. 
before we en- like entered the Zoom, we were just talking about that. Saying what? Yeah. Clean the house. Yeah. That we should. That I needed to have a day to go clean the house because I've been working nonstop. So. That's crazy. Listen, this is why I say, did you know what? This is why I listen to I, I listen to the dead, not the living. Do you see how she just tried to go and gaslight me? She's like, me? Me? Yeah. My yeah. house? Yeah. You sure it's not my other sister? That's your father's way of letting you know that he's there. Yeah. He actually tells me that someone kept a pair of his eyeglasses too, as weird as that is. <laughs> I have always glasses. <laughs> what? Yeah. Because he just said yeah. to me, Matt, what the hell are they going to do with this? He goes, I thought that they were going to bury me with the eagles, but they got my glasses, he says to me. Dumb skill, yeah. We did. We kept all of mom and dad's glasses. Yeah. So no, it's his way of just bringing that through on the other side. Yeah. And letting you know that he is okay. I just okay. saw something disturbing when I'm connecting. Uh-oh. They were also showing me the soul that passed in an automobile accident when I'm connecting as well. Did your f- dad have a friend that died in an automobile accident that, you know, this was like many years ago. He did one long time ago when we were little. That soul's here. He says to me, look, he's here, he's here. And he showed me he's re- reunited with that friend that had passed. Oh, oh my goodness. Please know that that soul is also there because when you die, everyone is there from your whole life on the other side. And that's what's mm-hmm. so beautiful. He also tells me he's got the dogs with him on the other side as well when I'm connecting because there's all these dogs that are running around. I don't know if they're boys or girls. I didn't look underneath, but they're with your father. (laughs) Let them know that this is just validation that I am always there and with them. He says every single day. He says, don't worry about me. Don't think about the final moments of my passing because as hard as it was to watch me go like this, he says, I am there and with you. I am watching you every day. He says, and this is just a validation that my soul truly has not left your side. All right, I'm gonna leave you guys with that.